Hindi ikinababahala ng business sector ang mas mabagal na paglago ng ekonomiya ng Pilipinas noong third quarter. Para kay Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry Chairman George Barcelon, healthy pa rin ang lagay ng economic growth sa bansa. It's subject to the season. Like comes November, December, when the government employees will be getting their bonus, uh, private sector will be uh, also giving their bonus, definitely there will be more economic activities. So I would think that uh, definitely on the last quarter, moving forward, it's going to be beyond 6%. So the average we should hopefully uh, for the whole year should be also within that range of a high five or to six percent. So very healthy naman. Sa Pilipinas Conference 2024, sinabi ni Finance Secretary Ralph Recto na inaasahan niyang dodoble ang growth rate ng bansa sa susunod na anim na taon. We now have the momentum on our side and we must do everything to seize it. The Philippines today is in its strongest economic state. We remain one of ASEAN's top performers. Anya, on course ang Pilipinas sa pagkakamit ng upper middle income status sa susunod na taon. Samantala, patuloy ding tinatrabaho ng gobyerno ang pagpapababa sa inflation. I think the peak was something like 6%. We're down now to 2.3%. We're within the band of the BSP of 2 to 4%. Uh, that helps our economic growth. Um, and that's why we're growing roughly at about 6.1% in the last two and a half years. So we're not doing too bad. Dagdag ni Recto, malapit ng maisa sa batas ang Create More Bill na layuning gawing mas kaakit-akit na investment destination ang Pilipinas para sa mga local at foreign investors. The Marcos Jr. administration is fully committed to doing everything in its power to help business succeed because we want you to make more money with us and grow your enterprise to help the nation prosper. 8 million Filipinos out of poverty. Ito pa rin daw ang target na pinagsisikapan ng pamahalaan. Ayon kay Finance Secretary Ralph Recto, kabilang sa mga effort para rito ay ang pagdaragdag ng isang milyong trabaho sa bansa kada taon. Para sa Agenda, Sujin Kim, BNC.